Welcome to Sean Can't Cook, But John Can. Sean and I have been actors for many years, but I assure you, this is no act. He really can't cook. I'm going to teach Sean and you at home how to feel more comfortable in the kitchen, preparing tasty recipes that even the most novice of cooks can create. I will show you step by step how to construct each dish so that when your friends come over, they'll ask, how'd you learn how to make that? If you already know how to cook, I hope you'll find a few recipes to add to your repertoire. Let's see what's on today's menu. Hello, and welcome to Season 3, Episode 2 of Sean Can't Cook, But John Can. I really can't. I know. Uh, we all know. So, today we're going to make some almond cookies. Now, I've had a lot in restaurants, and they're the flat, crispy kinds, and I love them. But I wanted to jazz them up a little bit. Is that a good word? Yeah. We're going to jazz these up a little we're bit. We're going to have jazzy cookies. Jazzy cookies today. <laughs> so mine are a little bit thicker. They're a little bit lighter. They're a little bit softer. They're a little bit fluffier. There's a lot of furs in there. But I like them. I just came up with these two weeks ago or so. And this is probably the third time I'm making them. So <laughs> we might film this a couple times and they didn't turn out. They'll be just fine. Um, so we're going to get started with the Sean Can. Show you what goes into these. And we'll come back and start making some almond cookies. The ingredients that you will need for today's almond cookies are four ounces of butter, also known as one stick, one fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, two large eggs. This is a mixture of one half teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of almond extract one cup of all-purpose flour, one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and as you know I keep pointing this out, this is a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder. This is one-third of a cup of blanched, toasted, ground almonds. This is one-fourth of a cup of pulverized, candied pineapple. Now, just so you know what it looks like, this is how I bought it. I pulverized it in a small food chopper, and we're going to do the same for this next ingredient, which are dried tart cherries. We're going to pulverize those, and I'll show you that, and we're going to measure out one half cup of those. This is an option you can put on top before baking. I'm using blanched toasted almonds. These are slivers. You can use whole if you prefer. And the equipment that you will need today, if you're not using a knife and chopping board, I'm using a small chopper to chop up the almonds, pineapple, and cherries. I'm using a stand mixer with a paddle attachment. You can also use a hand mixer if you'd like, or mix them in a bowl with a spoon if you don't have a mixer. You'll need a spatula to scrape things down, some spoons. We're going to chill the dough first, so I'm going to use some plastic wrap. You can use a plastic bag, you can cover the bowl, whichever is easiest for you. I do flatten as much as possible. It chills more evenly and quickly that way. And to bake, some cookie sheets, cooling racks, and an egg turner. And that's it. Let's make some cookies. Now that you know what goes into the cookies, let's show you how to put them together. So the first thing I'm going to do before we start mixing the ingredients the pineapple that I pulverized it looks like a big solid mass, and guess what? It is. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing to the cherries. I sort of discovered this while I was making them. I thought, oh, let's just chop them up. I'll do them in here. I can chop them by hand. And even when I chop them by hand, they just stuck together. So once you put it in the mixer, you put it on high, it just smashes them all up and breaks them up, and it's delicious. So also what I did with these cherries, I checked the pits. As you saw the other day, I was eating one, and I was like, whoa, what's that? So check for the pits. I did each one of these, made sure that they're not there. So we're going to throw them all into here. It's going to get a little noisy. And that's it. You get a big mass like that. So we're going to measure out a half a cup of that. We've got a quarter of a cup of that. We'll come back and show you. How to put it all together. Sean is going to blend the flour, the almonds, the salt, and the baking soda in that little bowl. Dry ingredients. Yay! I'm going to start doing 
doing the, whoops, the butter is just going to hang out there. I'm going to do, what's this called? What method that we did before? Oh, creaming. Yay! Creaming something. He's learning how to cook. Wow, I this remembered is, that. This is good. So, we're going to blend the butter and the sugar. If you don't have a mixer, you can do this by hand. Just do it until your arm gets sore. Yes. <laughs> and you'll know when it's done. I'm going to mix this for between one and two minutes until it's light and fluffy. We'll come back and show you what that looks like. So, this has been going for about two minutes. I scraped it down once about halfway through. You can scrape down the paddle also. The paddle works best for this on this particular mixer. And this is what it should look like. Nice, fluffy, blended together, sugars dissolved into the butter. The next step is to add the eggs. And we're gonna put the extracts in. And another question. Yes. So if you really want almondy tasty cookies, yes. can you put more extract in? You've read my mind. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I was just thinking that. I made these before, and the almond flavor was good, but it was subtle. But we both were eating them and said, you know, this could use a little more almond. So, you can start with a teaspoon the first time you make them. I'm going to add an extra half... Oh, little oh living wild. <laughs> woo, woo, extra almond. An extra half a teaspoon plus a few drops. Watch out. So, we're going to put this in. We're going to blend this for another minute or two, scraping it down halfway through, and we'll come back and show you what that looks like when it's done. Let's see what this looks like now. Everything's blended. I scraped it down. This has been about two minutes. It's nice and fluffy. It doesn't look like cookies yet, but that's because we need some flour. So this is the flour, almond, salt, and baking soda mixture. Just a friendly reminder, start this off on very low so that the flour doesn't go everywhere. We're gonna blend this for about a minute, scrape it down another 30 seconds to a minute after that. Now we have some cookie dough. It's very soft, which is why we're going to refrigerate it. Now we're going to put in the goodies, as I call them. The lump of cherries mm -hmm. and pineapple. The cherries and pineapple are in, and I'm going to turn this up to high so that it breaks them up. You can see all the little cherry bits going through. We're going to scrape this down once, do it for another 30 seconds, and we'll be done. So we're just going to scrape this all out, and I'm going to let you do so your do thing. Yep. Okay. It's very soft. How big do I make it? Like It's mainly just trying to get it flattened. Okay. And this is already pretty flat, so... So, like... Uh, <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> He's never done this before. Am I doing this right? I literally yeah, have yeah, no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, we're just trying to <laughs> flatten it. Um, Don't worry so much about the shape of it, just to get it oh, flat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oops. And also, it's moving around a lot, so... Um, it's a more like a pancake. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're making cherry pineapple. How flat does it should it go? That's good. That's good. Okay. Again, you only have to do this. I did it once in a ball, and it took a lot longer. So this is going to be 60 to 90 minutes until it's firm, and you'll know. But we'll show you that. Mm. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour, probably 90 minutes. It will get nice and firm. We're going to put these in uh, well the Thank you. We're going to... I've done it before. <laughs> We're going to put these into balls, or roll these into balls, and we're both going to do that. And I'm already we, ready. I'm go. already ready. Now you're going to have to wait. Sorry, you have to wash oh, your hands. So we're going to chill this, and we'll come back and form them and bake them and show you what they look like, and then we're going to taste them. Yum. So we'll be right back. Clean hands. We're just going to grab a little okay. ball. This has been in for about 90 minutes. Uh... It's flattened, so... Is that too much? Not enough? No, that's a little bit more, actually. Oh, okay. This makes between 20 and 24 cookies, I would say, depending how big you make. This could make a dozen if you make them super size, which sometimes I want to do. <laughs> our, our, our croissant cookies. <laughs> exactly. Like well, that? Yeah. Croissant cookies. Yep, yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So spread them out. Okay. And we're just going to show you a few of these. And we're going to...
going to flatten them. And we're going to put the blanched, slivered, toasted almonds. Could they have any more qualifiers? <laughs> so we're going to do three by four. These are going to bake at 350 degrees for between 11 and 13 minutes, I have found, since I created these cookies a few weeks ago. Err on the side of undercooking them. Mm -hmm. Remember the second ones I made? The first ones I made were fine. The second ones I made were a little bit drier because I overbaked no, them. I do. They were in a little bit longer. So check them in about 10 minutes. You can rotate the pans. You can switch um, shelves also if you're using two pans like we are. It's best to pull them out, turn them, put them on the top. The ones that were on the bottom, put the ones that were on the mm -hmm. bottom, on the top, whatever I just said. The just other. switch them. Just switch them. Oh my gosh. I make See, I, I speak John. Thank just you. Switch he em. does. Yes, he does. So we're just going to flatten these a little bit. See how that's sort of like that. You were ahead of me already. How did you do that? I've been talking. Just with your hands. Oh. Just push down. So it's just flat on top. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. I'm going to take two or three of each of these and just press them in lightly into there. And they'll break sometimes, and that's fine. These, are, all, these are fun. They, I see, like these. See, you like cookies. So these almonds, you can use, like I said, a whole blanched almond. You can toast them first or put them on blanched. I prefer them toasted. I just like What's this? What, what is blanched? Sorry, I don't know. Oh, I just, sorry. I guess we didn't talk about this, did we? I um, didn't ask. <laughs> you can do this at home if you want. You can buy raw almonds with the skins on, and you bring some water to boil. You literally blanch them in the water. You put them in for about 60 seconds, and you can start testing them. Uh, the skin will literally just pop right off. Oh. Um, I bought these like this, blanched. They weren't toasted. I toasted these in the oven for about... 30 minutes at a low oven, about 250 degrees. You just keep watching them, make sure that they're not burning. It smells heavenly in here. It smells like almond cookies. So come on, Sean. Okay. Let's take a look. It does smell really good in here. These were 13 minutes. As you can see, we put some with the almonds and some without. Again, adaptable cooking, your choice. So wait, mine are the ones without. Yes. All so right. these, uh -huh. nicely brown. Oh, wow. They're still... A little soft, which is good. Mm -hmm. Let me look in a little closer. Again, here. I overbaked them the other day, so these will be perfect. We're going to put these on a wire cooling rack. Let them cool for a while, but not too long, because you know what? We're hungry, and we want a cookie. Welcome to our cookie club. We're going to have some cookies now. So they've been out. They've been cooling. Let's dig in. Mmm. Oh, wow. They're still warm. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. They're soft. Mmm. I taste the almond. Mm -hmm. They're moist. The cherries. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The pineapple kicks in. Mm hmm At the last minute, the vanilla adds a little warmth. Mm hmm These are good. I'm happy with these. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Hope we'll tune in next week for another tasty, easy recipe. We're losing our set. <laughs> It's never happened before, but you know what? We're going to leave that in. Cause that was that's awesome. What, that's that was what awesome. The battery's about to die on the camera. <laughs> so we have to end this. So eat, drink, be merry. We will see you next time. Thank you for tuning in. Mm. Mm. You know what? The place can fall apart. We've got cookies. We got cookies. We got that's cookies. Right. Thank goodness. Cut.